Hello everyone, welcome to Aptitude Jab. This is a set based on line graph. It says that during a 15 day stay in Kolkata, Anmol purchased 6 items for breakfast, bread, butter, cheese, milk, noodles and yogurt. Two items were purchased each day and every item was purchased on an equal number of occasions. So 15 days into 2, 30 items. Okay, and there are 6 items, so that means 5 times every item was purchased. Okay, uh, the price of these items is 20, 25, 35, 40 and 50, uh, 50 and 80 but not necessarily in the same order. So we do not know the price of these items uh, in the respective order. We have cheese, milk, noodles and yogurt. Okay. The graph below gives the expense on each of the 15 days. So this is his expense on each of these 15 days, right? Now the information that is given is noodles are the cheapest. So noodles is 20 rupees and cheese is the costliest item. So cheese is 80. For the rest, we do not know the items, okay? It says starting from day one, milk was purchased every third day. So that means milk was purchased on day one, day four, day seven, Day 10, day 13. Okay. He purchased yogurt and butter together on two occasions. He never purchased butter and cheese on the same day. Right. So these are the conditions given to us. Let us make a table. Okay. Uh, so uh, let's see this thing. So on all these for 1, 3, 1, 4, 7, 10, 13, we have milk purchased. Okay. Now if you see the extremes, let us see the extreme values. Okay? Now the maximum here you are getting is 120. That will be possible with 80 plus 40. These are the prices given to us. Right, 120 is possible with 80 plus 40. So this also must be 80 plus 40. This must be 80 plus 35. Right. So in, in 5, 8 and 12, you can say that cheese is being uh, purchased. Okay. 5, 8, 12. So 5 cheese, 8 cheese, 12 also cheese. And uh, on these days, like 1, 4, 7, 10, 13, milk is being purchased. That is given to us, right? And for cheese, we have figured out, okay, using the conditions that are given, we figured out that when is uh, milk, uh, we, we, when is cheese purchased? Right now, let us look at some more information. Now, let us look at lowest point also. This is the lowest point, which is just 45. Okay. So, on this day, you are getting 45. So, 45 is possible only with 20 plus 25. Okay. 20 plus 25. 20 we know is noodles. Okay. So, this means milk is 25. So we have figured out milk 25. Now, let us find out that what are the other things that could have come with milk. So, this is 25. So 25, the second item should be of 35. Here the second item should be of 50. Okay, here it is 20 plus 25. Here it is 60. So item with 35 and here also some item with 35 cost. That is the cost of the second item that is purchased with milk. Okay. Now uh, he purchased yogurt and butter together on two occasions. He never purchased butter and cheese same day. Okay. Now butter and cheese. Cheese is 80. Now the remaining values of uh, products are 35, uh, 40 and 50. Remaining three values are 35, 40 and 50. Now here we see these three graphs. We see that 40 is present with 80. 35 is also present with 80. 50 is not present with 80. And we know that cheese is 80. We never see 50 plus 80. So that means 50 is butter. So from this we got the hint that butter is 50. So uh, on fourth day it will be milk plus butter. Right. Now uh, we are left with 35 and 40. We have to find out which is 35 which is 40 among bread and yogurt. We purchase yogurt and butter together on two occasions. Now yogurt we do not know. Butter we know is 50. Right. If, if we say that yogurt is 35. If yogurt is 35 or 40, then y plus b yogurt plus butter should be 85 
yogurt plus butter should be 90 let us see how many times do we get 90 we get 92 times okay how many times do we have 85 85 is not present on any of the occasions right so this means that yogurt is of 40 and bread is of 35 right so now can we fill these values yes let us fill so we know that this 35 is bread so this is milk plus bread on this day also day 10 and day 13 it is milk plus bread so we have now found out the cost we can easily fill this so day 2 we are getting 90 90 is yogurt plus butter okay so yogurt plus butter another 90 we saw on day 9 which is yogurt plus butter now coming to day 3 the total is 100 rupees right how can we get 100 that is uh, 80 plus 20 is the only possibility so it will be cheese plus noodles okay uh, then day 5 is uh, cheese plus 40 is yogurt and day 8 it is cheese plus bread and this is cheese plus yogurt day 6 if we come to day 6 the total is 70 now 70 is possible 50 20 that is the only possibility 50 and 20 so that is noodles plus 50 is butter day 7 it is already milk and noodles that we know because 20 and 25 uh, then day 11 day 11 is total is 70 70 is again 50 plus 20 only okay 50 20 that is uh, your noodles and butter day 14 the total is 100 100 is possible with 80 20 only so this is cheese plus noodles and day 15 it is 75 75 40 plus 35 is also possible 50 plus 25 is also possible but 50 plus 25 will not happen why because milk is purchased we know the five days of milk right so we cannot have milk on this day so it will be 40 plus 35 which is bread and yogurt so this is how we find out on all these 15 days the two items that were purchased okay so how we started we started with the price of extremes okay cheese and uh, uh, your noodles was given to us then we saw the maximum and minimum values and found the possibilities and there were four conditions and when we applied these conditions together we were able to find out we we found that milk is 25 that helped us solve some part and then remaining things we solved using it right now let us answer the questions what is the price of bread so the price of bread is 35 which is the only item purchased on two consecutive days let us see which item is purchased on two consecutive days so if you see noodle is purchased on day six and day seven noodles is purchased anything else no so noodles is the only item purchased on two consecutive days day six and day seven on which of the following days did anmol purchase yogurt so out of these six he did not purchase 9 9 he purchased yogurt right 11 and 14 not purchased so day 9 he purchased yogurt which item was purchased along with milk the most times so milk we see the combination here it is 35 which is the bread okay, so milk and bread was purchased together on most times that is three occasions so this is the solution to the set and uh, the answers to the questions interesting set uh, like it was not so difficult to find out the values just that you had to make this table to find which items were purchased on what day